Hey everybody, Emmanuel. I was thinking this morning coming to work on a Monday, the next week, on a Thursday, it's Monday, Thursday, and then Good Friday, and then Easter. So why am I living in the future? Well, as a person who works in the church, as somebody who thinks about the narrative of Jesus, and especially the time of Holy Week, you think about Easter and that's where your mind begins and often ends, and it should because it's ultimate. But that means that this Sunday is Palm Sunday. And if you didn't hear my sermon yesterday, um, go back just because everything is kind of successive approximations that everything that we see in the journey of Jesus, especially during Holy Week and the time they're in, everything is done for a reason on purpose. And this week is Palm Sunday. And there are places, and I think you know, Emmanuel has perhaps done it as well, is that you're given the choice to just have Palm Sunday or have Palm Sunday and then have Passion Sunday, which is the beginning of Jesus' suffering in one service. It has always been my thought, theologically, but also realizing the integrity of next week being Holy Week, is that Palm Sunday is going to be Palm Sunday. That Jesus went and um, all of a sudden uh, there was a throng of people and they heard about Jesus and they were excited and they thought uh, this king was coming and they shouted Hosanna. They even, at that moment, did not necessarily know everything about this Jesus, but they were excited, they got carried away, they were full of enthusiasm. But we also know the end of the story, that there were people who were even at that parade that probably were at the sentencing of Jesus who changed their mind. And so I think it's important that Jesus upon that donkey knows exactly where he's going. We now who know the narrative of the Bible know exactly where it's going. And so we should take it one step at a time. Palm Sunday is great. It's full of excitement, even though the people there didn't fully understand uh, the majesty and the scope and the breadth of Jesus, but sometimes neither do we. And that doesn't change how much Jesus leans into us and loves us. So, next week will take care of itself. Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday, we'll take them one at a time. There are three acts of that narrative play of Jesus saving us. But this Sunday, we're going to say, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. See you there. Have a good week.